Hello and welcome to Dimka's Woodworks. My name is Dima. In this episode what we're going to do is we're going to take a bank CSE pot from Australia and we're going to cast it in clear alumilite to make it into a workable pen blank. So the things you're going to need to make this project work is Obviously you need a bank seed seed pod that's at least five inches long. You're going to need an accurate scale to measure out your aluminite, some gloves, you need a pressure pod that's rated for 60 psi, you need a mold to cast your pen blanks in. Obviously you need your part A and part B of your aluminite, an empty cup or several some dye to color the aluminate and some pearls to just give it a little bit of a sparkle. So let's get started. So what you want to do is you want to cut the ends off to make this at least about five inches long so it could fit into the mold. So here I already cut the ends off. I know it's going to fit into my mold we can move on to the next step. The next thing you want to do is you want to cut bank seed pot exactly in half. Now that you got it cut in half, you can go ahead and cut three quarters inch thick the ends off. So what you're going to get left with is a three quarter inch thick slab that you can cast. So here I got my set, my fence set to three quarters of an inch. We can go ahead and slice the ends off. There we go, we got our two slabs ready for casting. So what's going to happen is you're going to set your blanks down in there, raised up off the bottom a little bit, fill that with alumilite, put in the pressure pot. You've got a spot here that's empty, which you could also do is take the extra leftover piece that you cut out and cut it just enough so it fits down in there. So here we got all of our pieces cut out. You've got your slab, and this is the part that came off the end of it. What it's going to do is it's going to use, I'm going to use this as a filler blank because my mold can make six pen blanks, and this is only enough for about three. So what's going to happen is you're just going to slide this right in there, and then you're going to wedge this piece in there. And what's going to happen is they're both going to keep each other snugged right in there. Now we can move on to the next step. What you want to do next is you want to mix 
part B and part A of Alumilite and go ahead and fill this and put it in the pressure pot. So the recommended mixture of both part A and part B of Alumilite is 50-50 by weight. So what we're going to do is we're going to, this is about a 16 ounce cup. I think what we're going to do is we're going to fill it to about 10 or 12 ounces and that should be more than enough to fill all the voids. Go ahead and turn on my scale. Zero it out. Now we're going to go ahead and do six ounces of A and six ounces of B. For this part, you might want to use gloves because the stuff does get a little messy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of black alumilite dye to get this to get to a little bit of a grayish tint and add some pearls to it. Make sure you mix this stuff very thoroughly otherwise you're going to have some soft spot and it's not going to turn out as good. Scrapes the sides. Mix in the Pearl X. Make sure it's mixed nice and well. Make sure there's no clumps. With a Lumen Light Clear, you have plenty of working time. Uh, with a white, there's only about seven minutes. With this stuff, you got plenty of time. So. I'm going to make sure it's mixed very well before I pour it in there. So once you got it all mixed, all you do is just pour right over it. Might as well empty all of it, but make sure there is no material showing like I have here. All the bubbles will go away once we pressurize it. Now we put it, now we put it in our little tray here. Go ahead and put the lid on. Make sure everything is nice and tight. Once you got everything tight, you can go ahead and hook, connect your air compressor. And slowly release the valve to build pressure. If you just let all the air in there, what's going to happen is the air is going to rush in there so quick, it's just going to spray all that aluminum light all inside. So do it real slow.
as you can see the pressure is slowly rising and not too fast got about 60 psi right about there there we go we can go ahead and shut it off and now we just wait they recommend at least 30 minutes it's sometimes overnight but I've done the bank seal pods before and it takes uh, roughly 30 minutes so we'll come back in 30 minutes so while the resin sets uh, for those of you who are wondering why you need a pressure pot to do this step the reason being is you want to get all of the air bubbles out of the resin uh, it makes it a lot easier when you're turning because then you don't have any voids to fill the other reason is because the resin is so thick uh, it doesn't always fill all the, the the micro cracks and the spots that you actually want to fill so the pressure uh, the 60 psi actually forces the resin into all those areas and actually stabilizing the blank for turning use otherwise you're gonna have voids and you're gonna have to fill it with CA and we really don't it's want it. It's been about 30 minutes since we put uh, the resin into the pot we can slowly let the air out and start pulling it out As you can see the resin is fully set, we can go ahead and get it out. Now all I gotta do is whack it against the hard surface and that'll pop right out. See it's separated, now you can just slide it right out. Now that the slab is fully dried, what we can do is we can cut them up into pen blanks. I got my fence set at about three quarters of an inch, a little bit less. We can start slicing. So as you can see here, I was able to get six pen blanks, which are three quarter inch square, ready for turning. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.